do you know about the netflix journey of changing its garbage collector from g1gc to zgc in this video we will explore the garbage collection process in java various gc algorithms and discuss in particular the challenges with g1gc we will conclude by discussing the solution netflix found for its challenges with g1gc hi there welcome to tech and career bites i'm a software professional with over two decades of experience including seven years in leadership roles at a global product based organization who doesn't know netflix netflix a global leader in streaming services faced significant challenges with g1gc in their grpc and data graph services data graph services or dgs are services designed to handle store process and analyze graph data and if you are curious to know more about grpc we have a separate video please watch that the link is available in the description box g1gc while effective in many scenarios was a source of tail latencies due to its garbage collection process wait what is tail latency and what is a gc pause let's understand that first gc pauses occur when the garbage collector stops the application threads to reclaim memory stopping the application threads leads to increased latency these gc pauses even if brief can significantly impact latency sensitive applications tail latency refers to the worst case latency experienced by users in a netflix case given gc pauses were both frequent and long significantly impacting user experience these gc pauses often led to request cancellations and retries causing an increase in overall service traffic to maintain high service reliability and performance netflix needed an efficient gc mechanism before we discuss the netflix challenges let's quickly review the garbage collection process in java an in-depth discussion on garbage collection is covered in a separate video the link can be found in the description box garbage collection or gc in java is an automatic memory management process that identifies and discards unused objects to free up memory this process helps to prevent memory leaks and ensures efficient memory utilization efficient memory management is crucial for long running applications like those used by netflix you may know this a memory leak occurs when allocated memory is not released for reuse even when it is unused java provides several gc algorithms each with its characteristics and use cases listed here are the various gc algorithms let's dig deeper into g1gc the garbage collection algorithm that netflix used for a long time before encountering latency related challenges g1gc divides the heap young and old generation into multiple regions and performs a gc in parallel across these regions it prioritizes regions with the most garbage aiming to optimize the collection process and reduce pause times however g1gc still incurs noticeable pauses during its operations especially in applications with high allocation rates and large heaps such as those at netflix as we mentioned in the beginning the gc pauses even if brief significantly impact latency sensitive applications for instance in a streaming service like netflix a gc pause can delay responses to user requests if a request takes longer than expected it may time out leading to a cancellation and a retry this not only increases the latency but also adds to the overall service traffic for example consider this scenario a user requests a video stream from netflix 
the service experiences a GC pause delaying the response. The user's request times out and is cancelled. The system retries the request, increasing the load and latency further. For Netflix, G1GC limitations became evident in its critical services, leading to frequent and noticeable GC pauses. These pauses contributed to request timeouts, cancellations and retries, increasing overall service traffic and impacting performance. In the figure shown, you can see that the peak error rate with G1GC, as shown in white spikes, was 2000 errors per second. However, with ZGC enabled on November 16th, it dropped to almost 100 errors per second, as shown in purple spikes. ZGC is available starting from JDK 11 and later versions and is supported on Linux, Windows and Mac OS platforms. It is designed for low latency applications requiring consistent responsiveness and scalability. Here is a brief overview of how ZGC works. ZGC marks live objects and moves them to new memory locations while the application continues running. This minimizes GC pause times. ZGC handles reference objects like weak or soft references without significant pauses. We have covered various object references and how GC collects them in a separate video. Please watch that. The link can be found in the description box. CGC adjusts heap sizes dynamically to efficiently manage very large memory spaces. It uses predictive algorithms to keep pause times low and predictable, ensuring smooth application performance. Here is an example of how you might start a Java application with ZGC enabled. Netflix a transition to ZGC in JDK 21 to address the limitations of G1GC. Let's understand what a ZGC offered to Netflix. First, reduced tail latencies. ZGC consistently keeps GC pause times under one millisecond, dramatically reducing request cancellations and retries. Second, improved efficiency. ZGC demonstrated better or equal CPU utilization and improved latencies compared to G1GC. Third, operational simplicity. ZGC can automatically adjust its internal parameters and behaviors based on the application's workload and environment. ZGC's self-tuning nature and efficient heuristics that is, the strategies and rules it uses for efficient memory management eliminate the need for extensive manual tuning. And finally, lower service traffic. The significant reduction in request cancellations and retries directly translated to lower overall service traffic, enhancing performance and reliability. By adopting ZGC, Netflix not only mitigated the issues associated with G1GC, but also streamlined its operations and improved user experience. This transition highlights the importance of selecting the right GC algorithm to meet the specific demands of large-scale, high-performance applications. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, coding, system design, big data, and career growth. My name is Rupa, and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.